stay. They want to play edge. I'm wondering here, does Epic Ooh. Cities have a front row seats to this fight happening right now as TSM tries to Ooh. engage? Nice PK shot, nice knock. The art started trying to block them out. Aisha, Aisha, Aisha. Wah! Oh, it's coming. Hey, hey! I'm Wang Ye. September 15th, evening, is my debut date. Please come to see it. If you don't come, I'll eat you. 哦，哈哈。We'll see what they can do. IG wants to enter the fight, enter the fray. This is that early rotate we talked about, and I honestly, Noise is not playing with this team. RK ended the best possible sub for the squad in IGL, but they're under stress. Absolutely, RK is falling really low. He can't even pop the shield back before one of his teammates goes down. Fnatic now. Managing to get the knock, managing to back away real quick as IG International has been taken out. The first team to be taken out of our first game lobby. That's right. The first eliminated squad is going to be IG. The Brits, the only all-English team out of this one. Obviously playing with a substitute in RKN. It's going to be to the hands of Fnatic. Meanwhile, we said that TSM wanted a fight. They're going to find themselves in a skirmish here in Fragment. Rather than making the early rotate, Vicky, they stay. They want to play edge. I'm wondering here, does Epic Cities have a front row seats to this fight happening right now as TSM tries to engage? Nice PK shot. Nice knock. The Arts started trying to block them out. You see the Nox gas coming in. That's right. The ultimate's going to come through from Caustic. So Hal works a wide flank. Maybe learn to finger two from Snipe Down. One of the best flankers in the game. Here comes the push. They haven't got to revive just yet. And Rep He's gonna put the damage in. Here comes the push from Verhold. He's gonna be damaged. He did enough, I think, but was it enough? Optic Gaming versus TSM to kick off the championships, and Verhold goes down. Optic Gaming making the rotation away from Big Mod as Verhold gets taken out. You see TSM wow. now backing up a little bit. Reps now trying to kind of figure out whether they just want to disengage, and it looks Dark. like that is their, dis their decision right now. That is huge. We had an Optic versus TSM fight, and some way, somehow, Optic Gaming survives. Very common for a lot of these squads to share these but the circle's pulling away from this spot, so they're gonna have to get moving soon. It's Team Liquid on the other side that is witnessing the chaos, the redeploy, finding some of those shots. They know that that's a white shield on the other side, so they're gonna try to see where they're gonna land afterwards. They get knocked from the skies. Oh, one IQ with the charge rifle that has been a menace since the start of Storm. And they're not done yet. Gonna connect with the Peacekeeper shot right after. One IQ from South America, by the way, Chilean squad playing with a Mexican player in Talus, who's such a talented individual. They take out Infinity. Wow, what a start for 1IQ. Two teams eliminated. Official cover on this rotation. Looking bleak, but Team Liquid finds themselves in a fight. Gilder sits with the car. He's going to get a triple kill. Oh, he said, knock, knock, follow. Don't worry, I got the car ready for you here. Gilder sits, creating some of that space with the Cossack Barrels. There's another team pushing them right there, too. Sisu to Raikou. Now trying to ease their way into that building, trying to find the opportunity. They got the Seer. They got the information. They know where everybody is positioned inside of this truck. Raikou. APAC South region. Surprise team. Lost Waltzy and picked up Rico. Excited to see what they can do here. Bullet, the Greek Australian. Cats and IGL, the team. EXO is going to knock. Knocked, actually. Optic Gaming has not been faring well. NRG finds themselves in a fight as well. Take one of these. Oh, yeah, the art starts. Gonna watch out. Nice little crack right there on the caustic. See if they can ease their way as the circle is oh. closing in right behind NRG, but they're right there on the border with the train tracks. So scary here as a line. So much action happening right over here. Look at the 16 squads left. We're in circle four. A lot of these teams have to move in as Optic Gaming get taken out. Hal now getting a knock with Optic falling down in 17th place. This highlights how crazy this lobby is right now between these two groups. Insane. Fourth row Spang nearby wants to enter the action with championship caliber squads in NRG and Alliance, the Titan, the behemoth of Europe. But NRG, arguably the once Rising giants of North America have been quiet as of late. We'll see if they can get out of this pre peculiar situation here. Meanwhile, FA Kitty, speaking of Europe, is going to take out TSM. NRG is going to get eliminated from ORF. And just like that, the Japanese eliminate the American NRG squad. It's saying here, they're on those train tracks trying to play right there. Alliance as well. You can see them now holding on to the side. 
Where you can see the squad on the other side of the train track trying to figure out where they want to go. See the top two, 13 squads left. FA Kitty still in this team. Liquid too, we fully saw them send it onto a team. FA Kitty though, with oh. only Hardecki left. There's only so much you can do when you get sandwiched. We get a little nom nom in the crowd here for Team <laughs> Burger. They're going to eat up the FA Kitties. The top European squad gets taken out by Team Burger. Fan favorite. Find his mark onto that. And Wife's one of the best snipers in all of Apex, in my opinion. Support players, he does whatever it takes to help his team. Losing the shadows a little bit of hockey. The IGL and Fragger, meanwhile, ORF took out NRG. They are now backs against the wall, quite literally, as the ring is closing in. Lick, lost back to Norin, pushes up. Look at the damage done here. The wingman's gonna come out, he connects. Look at the absolute sheer damage for oh. Lick Moon. This Japanese squad came to play. Orthos now gonna be able to wow. do so much damage. Drip on the other side. Tao tossing out that caustic dust gas. Supreme Fire now gonna be able to try to finish, at least with that dirty, but they have to try to get this res right here. They're keeping their eyes to their back with the Watson team right behind them. Bogey right here. So intense. They are holding onto the high ground, overlooking a lot of the action that's happening over here by Survey. Lions hit that redeploy earlier. Look at the damage. Is that enough? That's a question. Reject gonna get taken out here. One of the APAC North squads. 4-7. Team of two actually joins the fray. Team Burger alive. Scars is still alive, your champion from the ALGS Championship in year one. Right now, it's Europe showing up big time, Vicky, with nine squads left. Two of them oh. are down European teams. The wide right flank from Hockey's. The IGL for this team comes in and melts everybody. Deleted Team Burger out of this lobby in ninth as Alliance continue to mow everybody down. Not many of us have them in our top one, but Team Liquid is certainly proving that they're here to play. They're, they're always well. showing up, always. always. They even experimenting, having out with the Loba and then changing it up depending on what they could expect right now. Especially when it comes to World's Edge, they love this map. They're one of the first innovators on Stormpoint as well as EXO. Find themselves in some Ooh. trouble, Ziggy, trying to dance around in the air. But look at that, right into the open arms of Scars, served on a silver platter. Ziggy, Ziggy, you can take it out here, man. He pushed it wide right, connects for a couple massive shots, but it's not enough just yet. Here comes the elimination. Finally, everyone joins the fray. It's Scars, it's Alliance contributing to that, and EXO is out. Out. The Thailand team eliminated. Fnatic holding onto the high ground right here. This was the Watson fences that we saw set up on the other side of the train tracks before. They're going to be able to cover so much ground with this here, but they have to ease their way into that truck that you see Team Liquid hanging out in, but they're forced out, forced out with the bubble as well. Thanks to that Nox grass. Five squads remain. Dreamfire is one of them. Ooh. Your champions from Split 1 oh, in APAC. Scars. But look at Scars gets taken out by Dreamfire's defensive bombardment. The Gibraltar ultimate too strong. And this is why you need a Gibby in your team comp, in my opinion. Late game, it is too powerful to have the dome shield to have the defensive bombardment. Where do you go? Where do you go at this point? Alliance just has you in your clear line of sight Whoop. right now. They're looking to their backs. They're splitting some of that attention. It's FNC who have been holding on to the high ground for a while. They had those spots and fences set up. But Team Liquid, they're stuck with their Backs against the circle. Right. Yuki, the Chinese British sensation, was once on a love show in China. I swear to God, I can't make that up. One of the most handsome individuals I've ever seen in my entire life. Shots on that. <laughs> Got a lot of love for Yuki himself. Now, joined this Alliance team. He played with Nasty Strafey and found some success. But since he's joined Alliance, it's become a brotherhood. These teammates are so close to one another. Good shots put in here. Dreamfire, I mentioned before, former champions for split one. And Roy's going to knock one. Team Liquid is looking a little dicey. Dreamfire looking fantastic here. You can see Roy is the kill leader with those four kills. They're tossing out those arc stars, the bombardment coming down. Fnatic still holding on to the side. Team Liquid now need to start moving. And here you guys, who has the win condition here, Vicky? Is it Alliance mid-map? No, Guilty L's gonna get taken out, so Alliance is gonna continue to turtle up here. I, with the Caustic in their squad, we have a Watson here for Fnatic. Honestly, this is anyone's game. It's a three-way tie and opportunity here. Fnatic just looks really good. They have to actually oh. jump down from the high ground. They don't really have any cover right here. You Manuka. see a lot of fighting happening on the other side of this truck. Trying to put down that Watson ult. Let's see if they have the opportunity. That's big. He's going to come through from Watson. That's going to help them protect against any explosions and keep them alive for now. But DF is going to take it out. Alliance is still mid-map getting sandwiched here. The meat of the sandwich as Dreamfire closes in. Fnatic wants to bait this fight to start and doing such a good job of that. But Matsutasu is so damaged right now. Here comes the play opportunity. Ooh. Our star making its mark nice. here. Got to dance around those bombardments yeah. here too. Dreamfire versus Alliance versus Woo. Fnatic right now. Dreamfire used their Give people early. Double sorry, but they have high ground. They have the win condition in my eyes. Alliance is content letting this fight happen. Fnatic gonna get melted. 
Welcome back to Competitive Esports Fanatic, but you're gonna get taken out here. Dreamfire is just firing away! One after another! Easy money for Dreamfire! And they show up to play against the Lions, but somehow they're still alive. They're taking so much damage off of this Caustic gas here too, though. They're trying to go around, but as you can see, Bolin trying to jump right around this cart. He gets taken down. Now jumping down, it's a Lions. Dreamfire! A Dreamfire! Now take game number one here in the ALDS Championship! Are you kidding me? It was not Suturaiku, it was not Team Burger, but instead, Dreamfire does it, coming all the way from Thailand, or sorry, Taiwan, I apologize, 